Welcome to Coding with Kids. My name is Kalia. And mine is Andrew. Today we're in Minecraft Education Edition in the Hour of Code Escape Estate. So in the last video we finished this room with the weird heads and now we're gonna go for the portal. Loading, loading, loading. Okay. Where are we now? Search it's room. It's like a for... library. Oh, it's the chest room. Yeah, there's a rook and a bishop. So that's. There's, a, there's particles. Let me go to the particles. No, there's one behind us. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we have pointer and this book, this, a bunch of shells, and then and there's a queen. a queen over there, okay? Okay, let's... Bookcase, staircase. There seems to be something on the top of the bookcase. See if you could create a way to get up there. Use move cursor to position the cursor and place block to place the block in your selected position. The move cursor... Function takes one parameter that defines its direction. You have orange, magenta, blue, and yellow, which is each color for a different direction. Okay, so let's see the code example first. So it's gonna place a block, and we gotta try to reach the queen. Okay, so let's go back to code. So basically, we have to use the pointer to create a stairs um, next to the book, the bookcase or the shelves of books to get us to the queen. Okay, so first we have the first one, which is place block and then move cursor yellow. Then we need to move the cursor orange and then place a block again. So first we're gonna have to do move cursor and then orange. Then we're gonna do place block. So the move cursor orange will move us, will move the pointer up one block. Okay, so let's see what this does first. Okay, and then there. So now we're beginning to get the start of a staircase. So we just need to repeat this a few times. So let's see how many times. Let's see. Okay. So one, two, three, three times. Wait. One, two. Okay, let's see if we can repeat it two times. Let's see if we can jump all the way to the queen. Because we just need to reach the queen. And then remember to put the tab to put in put the code into the repeat loop. Okay, let's see how this works. One. Okay, let's see if we can reach the queen now. But core. No. Nah. Seems like that didn't really work. Okay, so now the particles. So we need just need to reach the queen with code. Okay, so. Okay, so we reached there, and now we just need to do for iron range again. I think three times repeat, three times move yellow and place block for iron range three. Okay, and then we need to do move, wait, place, move cursor first, move cursor yellow and then we need to place the block place block okay let's go Even so though if we, we missed the one block, we can still jump. Okay. Yeah. Right click the queen. Puzzle solved. Okay, so now queen takes rook. So I think we're the black pieces and our queen just took, just took the white rook. Okay, so now there's another one on the other side of the room. Probably the king, right? Yeah. So it's a puzzle. And it just shuffled the puzzle. So now we need to fix the puzzle. Picture slide. It looks like these pieces are in a, are a part of a, of an incomplete picture. Try reordering them to see what it's supposed to be. Use a push pieces function to trigger the pistons to move the pieces in that direction. Okay, let's see the code example. Okay. So you can use the pistons to move the puzzle. Okay. So now let's go to code and go. So let's see what this will do. Left, right. So we need to do left, 
up, then right. Okay, so let's go back to code. Left, up, then right. Left, up, then right. There. So now we easily completed the puzzle. Now we can right click the king. So king now our king takes bishop. the bishop. So now there are more particles here at the carpet. So now we have dates, queen January 5th and king May 5th. Then we have the months here and numbers here. Okay, so let's see. Chess pieces. You freed the king and queen, but the door still isn't opening. They must be in the wrong positions. Move them into the correct position so you can finally escape this place. Use the move chess piece function to move the king and queen into the correct positions. So we have the same commands, orange, magenta, blue, and yellow. Okay, let's see what this does first. The code example. So it moves the queen and the king. But they're both wrong. Okay. Okay, so let's go check out that particles because there are particles over there. Queen's birthday is May 4th. Oh, so it tells us where the queen needs to go. Let's check the other side. Okay. And there's the king's birthday. It's April, April 1st. 1st. April Fool's. So who do we do first? Let's do the king's first. April. So April. So first we need to move... Um, king blue. Blue. And then we need orange to go to April 1st. Four then times four orange. Time. Okay, let's go here. King orange, king orange, king orange. We could just... Replace this with orange. And then we had to move one more blue, so one more. You could also use a repeat loop, but since there was already three king oranges, we just put the Maybe we just color. added one or blue. We just added um one more orange to complete it. Okay, so let's see what the if the king moves to the correct position. The king is still at me first because. Oh, there's something. I capitalized the P. Oh. So now we know the king will go to April 1st. So now the queen's birthday was. May, May 4th. 4th. So now the queen has to move. Yellow four, yellow times. four times. Yellow, yeah. Still didn't select. Yellow, one more time. Couple of eyes. Queen. Yellow. Yellow. And then we also have to move it to fourth, with, which is orange, one time. So let's see. So the king moves first. April, April 1st. first. Then the queen. May, May 4th. 4th. So room cleared. Parlor. Trophy, trophy unlocked. Red path complete. Okay, let's see what happens now. Oh. Oh, it's that So character. now we can see our avatar going towards the final portal. Dr. Britkowski. Hello again. It looks like you did it. You managed to make your way through the mansion. Bro, we knew you could do it. In fact, we were counting on it. Hey, yo, we? that's sus. So we. They transformed it into the time box. Rascal. You see, this place is more than just the mansion. It's an interdimensional prison. One that we could not escape, but we knew you'd figured it out. Oh, so we're better than you. <laughs> ha ha. Surprise. The time agents are back. Now you're the one who is going to be stuck in this mansion forever. Enjoy your new home. Mwah ha 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 ha. Rascal. Oh. It's Tara. Not so fast, time agents. You're not going anywhere. I'm, I'm giving you troublemakers a timeout. Oh. Tara, you may have trapped us here once, but we won't fall again. Fall for your tricks again. The portal is open. You can't stop us. You're out of time. And so are we. So long, chumps. Bleh. So now the time engines went for the portal. Tara, that portal leads to the time warp. They'll be able to use it to escape. The only way to stop the time warp is, to, is by using chrono cannons. It won't take long for them to charge up the orb, so we must quickly activate the defenses and stop them once and for all. Now go. Okay, Tara. So we need to click 
quickly get the cloning cannons and stop the time agents. Which we'll do it in the next video. Yes, the time war. Finally, we can escape this interdimensional prison. What? You again? Split up, time agents. Protect the Corona Cannons while I prep the time war. So he's the boss. So now all the other time agents have went to the one rooms. Corona Cannon. We need to activate the Corona Cannons. The control centers are in those corner rooms, but the time agents have shut the doors. See if you can figure out a way to open them. So now in the next video, we will try to open the doors, activate the Corona Cannons, and destroy the time war. And Before the time here. agents escape. I don't like you, rascal. Well, well that, that was fun. fun. And, and that's, that's it for today. Thank, thank you for watching. watching. Remember to smash the like button and subscribe. Bye-bye.